Remember a few months ago when we talked about Gabby and Trisha making up? Yeah. Well, erase that from your memory because we're right back where we started. What's up, guys? Today, we have to talk about Gabby Hanna and Trisha Paytas because so much has gone on, I literally can't even keep up. It's a mess, so let's get into it. Exposed. Exposed. Before we get into the tea, I have to expose today's sponsor, Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve is an online adult store and they've given me a discount code for you guys over the age of 18 to use. Just head over to adameve.com and once you're done shopping, you're going to want to use the code SPILL. Code SPILL is going to get you guys 50% off of one item in your cart and free shipping to the US and Canada. A few perks of shopping with Adam and Eve is you get 24-7 customer support, 90-day hassle-free returns. Not only that, but Adam and Eve also donates 20% of their profit to fight the spread of HIV. So that's code SPILL for 50% off of one item in your cart. Some exclusions do apply and free shipping to the US and Canada. Thank you, Adam and Eve, for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to use code SPILL and let's get into the tea. So Gabby Hanna has caught herself in a fair bit of drama these past few weeks, and it's crazy to think this all started because someone didn't like her poetry. Somehow we went from Gabby fighting with someone for not liking her poetry, to Gabby fighting with Angelica Oles, to Gabby fighting with Oscar Wilde, and now Gabby coming for Trisha Paytas. If you've been around for a few years, you'll know Gabby and Trisha don't have the best history together. But we finally saw some light at the end of the tunnel when Trisha went on Gabby's podcast earlier this year, and they kind of made up. Kind of. I say kind of because I think a lot of people will agree with me when I say the podcast was kind of uncomfortable. Gabby spent like 95% of it trying to convince Trisha of things that Trisha doesn't remember happening, like their alleged friendship. Gabby is convinced that Trisha and her were friends, but Trisha just couldn't remember. Now, Trisha did make a follow-up video to clear up some negative things that were being said about them after the podcast dropped, but overall, it seemed like Gabby and Trisha were cool, which is why everyone was so confused when this new feud broke out. Like I said, Gabby has been getting into arguments with anyone and everyone online these past few weeks. It was kind of shocking because for like the past nine months, Gabby has been pretty drama free. She rebranded, she's been doing her own thing on her vlog channel, and she seemed happy. Then Gabby started posting really weird TikTok videos and some people are actually concerned. That concern was short lived though because Gabby posted on her Patreon that she was just trolling. I'm concerned for the world. The fact that people can't figure out I'm trolling in my TikToks is astounding. I'm doing the same stuff I did on Musical.ly just in regular time. If there's one thing I know how to do, it's be viral. If you think the girl who's been made fun of for her nose by the entire internet doesn't know what she's doing when she sings with her nose rubbing against the pop filter, it feels good to be in control. But even before Gabby posted this, some people already suspected her of trolling because it's not the first time she's actually done this. Gabby has a history of trolling online before dropping a new song or book. Well, Gabby posted yet another TikTok trolling people and someone commented on it, writing, Someone said she's trying to be the next Trisha Paytas, and now I can't stop seeing that. And Gabby responded, I'm like Trisha Paytas if she was talented and happy. So much for making up. Anyways, Trisha ended up seeing her comment about them being untalented and unhappy, and they responded, writing, She's a lovely human, isn't she? I made a video trying to give her some redeeming qualities to see her keep posting and remaining creative, and she did this? Gabby is a very delusional person. I truly am like the secret fan of her content, but she tried to convince me for hours that we had exchanges that never happened. To me, I don't want to go back and forth with someone who needs help but won't get it. Seeing yet another mental breakdown for her is upsetting to me. I went on her podcast trying to do a restart for both her and me and it's just really sad it didn't happen. She's not just defending herself, she's being obsessive and defensive over the wrong stuff. I blocked her everywhere because I have no interest in the back and forth with someone who's delusional and not seeking help. She voice memoed me the next day, I have it, of her admitting the story she tried to convince me happened, in fact, did not happen. Trisha is talking about the stories that Gabby was trying to convince them happened during the podcast they did together. Gabby was convinced that Trisha invited her to Thanksgiving dinner and that they were friends, and the whole time Trisha was like, um, I don't really think so. Gabby saw Trisha's tweets and posted this to TikTok. 
Trisha Paytas is upset that I called her untalented, even though she's allowed to have an opinion about me. She says everyone can have an opinion. She has an opinion about my music. But what's this? You're making fun of me online, you hypocritical bitch. <laughs> And with that TikTok, the mess started. Gabby went on to post multiple TikToks showing old texts between her and Trisha, trying to, I guess, expose Trisha for actually being friends with Gabby. The whole drama between them has been Gabby thinking Trisha was her friend and Trisha saying they were never friends. You could actually debate that all day long, but my guess is Trisha and Gabby just have a different meaning of friendship. Gabby might think someone being friendly with them is genuine friendship, whereas Trisha thinks the complete opposite. No one is right or wrong, they just have different perspectives on friendship and they need to accept it and move on. But nope, Gabby had to bring the apparent receipts. Gabby just really wants Trisha to admit that they were friends with her and at this point, it's getting a bit strange. Gabby was posting screenshots of her old phone and hard drives and was teasing this big series where she was going to expose everyone who wronged her and finally make the world know that Trisha was friends with Gabby. Well, Trisha wasn't having any of it and decided to drop the receipts on their own. They posted a two minute video titled The Voice Memos. Trisha plays this voice memo from Gabby after they filmed the podcast and Gabby actually admits that she was wrong. Trisha actually didn't invite Gabby to Thanksgiving dinner and this was just another example of Gabby remembering things differently from what actually happened. During all this drama, Gabby was posting all these different TikToks, just completely trolling and really playing into the fact that everyone thought something was genuinely going on with her. At this point, the back and forth was just exhausting. It was old high school drama that didn't really need to be brought up again, yet Gabby was still pushing that docuseries. Trisha then went on to post a video titled Gabby, Please Stop. Trisha says, you know, maybe Gabby thinks this is a big game, but it's not, and it's actually affecting them now. They said in 2021, they sat down with Gabby for the podcast to hopefully put this all behind them, and they even apologized to Gabby for anything nasty they've ever said to her. They literally just wanted to move forward and squash the beef with her. They even explained how in the past, being overly friendly with people has gotten them into trouble, and now they just don't want friends, so Gabby was mistaking their kindness as genuine friendship. A new episode of Frenemies also aired the same day and they brought up Gabby for like 0.2 seconds. Ethan mentioned Gabby winning a Frenemies award for the biggest breakdown and he wondered if she'd actually show up to the show and accept it. Well, that was enough for Gabby to get on Twitter and send multiple tweets to H3H3 asking to come on the show. Trisha also tweeted their final thoughts about the Gabby situation because it was really starting to have a negative effect on them. Number one rule right now for me is to de-escalate the trigger and to disengage. I really hate that I let someone have control over my well-being. I slipped up even trying to communicate with someone who doesn't want communication, and I hate how that made me feel. I set a boundary by blocking someone, and it was not respected by that person. I'm still being tormented mentally with people relaying information to me. Leave me alone. I'm like begging. I've been respectful all this year. I've been trying to have compassion and empathy. Please do not send me anything Gabby related. Please. I left the studio to talk to someone today. It's the most triggering thing in the world to even see her face. Just stop. I'm stopping. Publicly, privately, I want nothing to do with her. Looks like Gabby isn't taking Trisha too seriously though because she went on Instagram stories and said this. So since the podcast, Trisha has not stopped talking about me. She's been trying to do it a little more covertly. So only her like most dedicated fans were like not putting my name in the title or leaving comments on people's TikToks or making TikToks about me. But now all of her stands who are completely brainwashed into believing what she says are saying that she just wants to be left alone and that I can't leave her alone. That's what narcissistic is. She also went on Twitter and said that Trisha has been very combative until they realize that Gabby has receipts and only now they want to be the bigger person. I don't know about you guys, but I'm just so over this drama because it's not even drama. I think Gabby just needs to accept that Trisha and her have a different meaning of friendship and move on already. Anyways guys, let me know what you think about everything down below. If you liked the video, hit the thumbs up button because it really does help my channel and I'll see you next time.